What's happening people? So, welcome to vlog week number three. Week's going fast. I know. So, what are we talking about today? Well, today we are extremely lucky. We've got the opportunity to be with the amazing Sue, Hi. who is the founder of her own company, HR Training and Consulting Limited, and also the incredible author of this amazing book right here, Putting the Human back into HR. So we have got a lot of questions from you all, so thank you for that. And one of the top questions that comes up is, how do we get out of our heads? We really wanna to get to a goal. It's, I wanna lose weight, I wanna gain weight, I wanna get fitter, I really wanna to go to the gym, but I just can't get out of my own head. As much as I want this to happen, it just doesn't happen, I don't make it happen. And for some odd reason, there is a roadblock. So whilst Chef and I can definitely answer this question, we thought we'd bring in our expert who is so hot on helping people achieve their potential, get out of their own heads and really uh, achieve what they aspire to achieve. So we're gonna hand over to Sue. We'll Thank pipe you. in, we'll pipe in, but she's got an amazing system of her three G's of how to get out of your head and achieve your goals and potential. Amazing. Okay, so thank you for having me um, and I'm really excited about sharing my three G's with you guys. So uh, to really get the goal that you want, the first thing that I would say or the first G that we're going to talk about is getting really connected to your goal. Um, getting so connected that you're really understanding like what is your empowering context. So what I mean by that is actually why do you want to do it and what is it that you want for yourself and for others. So let me just give you an example. So for me, my empowering context or my mission or my goal, if you like, is to make sure that every employee in the organization out there is valued and developed. That, that's my mission. So to bring that mission to reality, um, I need to think about what do I need to do? So I need to train HR professionals because I can't do that on my own, right? So I've now got to think about what can I do to achieve that goal? And that's what I'm doing. So that's the work that I'm doing to deliver my you know, ultimate aim. So being connected to what's out there rather than what's over here with me really helps me focus on actually who do I want to be for people. That then makes me generate myself. So for you guys, that might be where do I want to be? What goal do I want to obtain? And one thing that we do with our clients is to make a vision board or to make a motivation board, as we like to call it, of exactly where you want to be. And in turn, this might be, yes, I want to look like this or I want to feel better or I want to improve my energy, but actually it goes deeper than that. Actually, what kind of mother do you want to be? What kind of parent or sibling or spouse do you want to be? You know, think about what happens when you come home from work. Are you miserable, tired and unproductive? Actually, do you want to be the sort of parent who comes home buzzing with energy that you can chase after your kids or you can have a really fruitful conversation on the dinner table? Now, this might sound a bit funny because you're probably watching this thinking, I swear I didn't click on a vlog to talk about <laughs> parenting skills. Yeah. But it's incredible how much your mental health and physical health ties in together so much and then impacts all these other parts of your life like your parenting skills like your relationship management client management your performance at work yeah. so i think that's a really important part of it isn't it 100 percent. and just think about you know who do you want to show up as you know who do you want to show up as for your kids for your bosses for your family you know for your partner and really work on that and generate yourself to be that you know be your brand be the brand that you want to be, be it now. Um, so yeah, really generate yourself to achieve your goals. Amazing, and that brings us on to number two. Yeah, so number two is giving. Because when you're focused on serving others, you're taking the focus away from yourself. Yeah, and by in, being in action of serving others, you're actually doing the things that you want to be doing. And the more you're doing that, the less focus you're having on yourself around being in your head and not being motivated. Like I know that when I'm on my own and I'm not in action, I am literally just sitting here stuck in my head. But when I'm out there and I'm, you know, delivering workshops or I'm, you know, creating a PowerPoint or I'm doing something to serve other people, actually I'm in my flow and it's just keeping me going. So just really think about giving and serving as much as you can. 
So that's number two. I really like that. Amazing. And the final point. And the final G, the third G is gratitude. You can't be miserable and be grateful at the same time. Right? You can't be angry and grateful at the same time. So being in a state of gratitude means that you're constantly in a great energy, right? You're in the constant place of just being at peace and being grateful. And that just kind of really brings you into consciousness when you're, when you're grateful. The more conscious you are, the more you're going to have a purposeful life and a fulfilled life. So gratitude helps you be in a state of um, being more conscious really, isn't it? Because you're actually thinking about what have I got in my life to be grateful for? And it's not just about what you have in your life, but just what's around you, you know, like being grateful for the abundance of trees in the park or the green grass. Like, you know, I know when I'm washing up the dishes and I'm looking at the garden and seeing how beautiful and green the garden is, like I love it. It just makes me want to wash up more dishes. <laughs> really grateful for the comfortable bed I get to sleep on. For having hot water in my shower you know I'm really grateful for being able to wear the clothes that I want to wear I'm really grateful for having some amazing friends around me um, you know who have come to South End to visit me like how amazing I think um, if any of you have been on the body clock programs yet or are thinking about it one of the key components is mindfulness and I think gratitude and practicing daily gratitude exercises is a really important part of it what yeah. what exercises do you think our viewers could put into practice from today okay so really really simple buy yourself a beautiful little notebook or a diary keep it by your bedside and at the end of the evening it just takes five minutes right five things that you're really grateful for today right like I'm really grateful for these two guys coming all the way from South End to spend some time with me today I'm really grateful for the beautiful lunch I've had today I'm really grateful for having the opportunity to serve you guys today. Um, I'm really grateful to be able to pick my daughter up this, you know, in about 10 minutes um, and be able to see her face and really just grateful for the weather, the sunshine. It doesn't always have to be that you need to be grateful for the big things. Like, it's great to be grateful for a promotion at work or that you won the lottery or you bought a new car, whatever it might be, but sometimes it is those smaller things, isn't it? Yes, yeah. and you know, so many of you guys might be saying, okay, I can do this, but how's that gonna affect my, my health and wellness journey? And I guess I can summarize that in two points. That first things first, a lot of people think that your health and wellness journey is just to do with nutrition and fitness. Actually far from it, gratitude and mindfulness is a huge component. Your adrenal glands create cortisol in your body and we have all known that cortisol really prevents you from losing weight, losing fat, obtaining that goal. Um, a lot of our clients actually, that's the roadblock they have is that they're ticking off everything on their exercise and their fitness checklist, they're eating the right things and doing the right things in the kitchen, but it's their cortisol levels that are getting the better of them. Actually, yes, you might have had a really stressful day at work, but to come home and do some thought journaling, like Sue just said, writing down five positive things that have happened today, might actually enable you to lower down your cortisol levels and thus help you make more progress. The second thing is, in order to get out of your own head, how amazing would it be to practice gratitude and just say something as simple as, I am grateful to have a healthy body. I am so grateful to have two legs which can actually go for a walk today rather than sitting and watching EastEnders. Or I'm really grateful that I have maybe 10 pounds which I can spare this month which will allow me to do a really fun exercise class or I can buy some really cool things from my supermarket shop which will enable me to, to progress on this health journey. Or something just as simple as, I am really grateful, like you said, to, to have sunshine. And if you've got sunshine, why don't you go for a walk? And all of these things will allow you to get out of your own head and appreciate your body and the environment that you're in for what it is. And actually, if you can say to yourself, I'm really grateful to have the ability to have a really healthy body. I'm actually living a really good life. And if you're grateful to have your body and your mind, then make the most of it, fulfill that potential, set that goal, and as long as you're grateful for it, you'll reach it. So, on that note, we are very, very grateful today for our guest speaker. Awesome, Michelle, thank you for having me. Taking us through her amazing work so far, talking us through her amazing book, check it out on Amazon, and giving you guys some amazing tips.
We really hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, share and comment. And if there's anything else you wish to see, please let us know. We've also tagged the wonderful Sue's <laughs> socials on this video too, so do check her out as well. Oh, thank you for having me guys. You're welcome, thank you.